Hello and welcome to the vlog. This is not the vlog that I told you it was going to be. I said this was going to be about putting the rear windows onto the van, but I'd completely forgotten I was coming here to the NEC for the camping, caravan and motorhoming show. And as this is on until the end of the week, I thought I'd put this vlog up instead. So the next one will be the one about the windows on the van. However, today I'm looking around the show. And by the looks of things, it's going to be a busy show. Well, you're left in no doubt that you're in the right place. That one on the right reminds me of the satellite trucks of my former career. But I suspect that's a receiver dish rather than a transmitter. According to that sign, that's the latest generation Sprinter, which is, I think, what the indie projects are planning on buying themselves. Wow, that is one throbbing mass of people. And this is day one. It's going to be manic at the weekend. One of the things I'm definitely going to be looking at is stands like this stocking accessories, because I'm already starting to think about what I'll need in my van. Even though the van is barely built yet. I must say, I had absolutely no idea there was a civilised way to carry dog poo. But now I know. Well, I think there's certainly enough here to keep me busy for a while. Now there's a name that everyone in the van world knows. Oh my goodness, that looks very smart. And so shiny. <laughs> Look at that, even the toilet nicely hidden away. Well, well, well. Look who we found. You can't go to any camper show without these people turning up. It's only the indie project. And here is Theo modelling the uh, exclusive range of 2018 van life tees available from all good uh, online shops, but notably the indieprojects.com. Uh, Isn't this just the most amazing paint job? I don't know if all the sparkles are coming out on camera, but it looks marvellous, marvellous in the flesh. Two minutes from talking to the Indie Projects, literally walking along and, uh, oh, I know these faces. It's only Cali camping. It's a Sun Living van, as recently featured by Andrew Ditton. I'm not sure if it's the exact same model, but certainly their brand. He did a whole series of videos about these vans. Well worth a watch if you're interested in this style of camper. And apparently with super savings at the show too. Now, if I were ever going to have a coach-built motorhome, it would be something of that sort of size, I think. Nice and compact, but with everything you need. It's not right. It's not... Ah, oh, more YouTubers. Dan Trudgeon, Caravan Gossip, and make way for the Morleys. Chatting away. Caravans are your thing. Plenty of those here as well. Static park homes, not really my thing, but a big section here of them if uh, you're into that. Mmm, camper vans. I seriously considered using a Nissan NV200 as my base vehicle. There are a handful of professional conversions on that, uh, on that car. This is one of them. Unusual little cooker arrangement, which is hidden underneath the bit of wood that slides out to the left there. I do wish I could have afforded a high top for my van, but they are so expensive. So expensive. Never mind. I must say, I'm rather partial to a side-loading pop-top. I like that idea. And this is why a rising tailgate is useful so that you can have a little curtain around it, give yourself a shower space or awning space, extra room. Very handy. Here's a VW Caddy. 
probably one of the smallest vehicles you can convert sensibly. Just about got space inside for some cabinets, sink and cooker and all that. Tents for people who do tenting. Can't get rid of these people. Everywhere you walk, it's Cali camping. These things are splendidly ingenious, aren't they? They just unfold to give you a caravan slash tent thing. Beds at either end. And all the usual kitchen amenities. It occurs to me, I could probably tow one of these little trailer tent bed things behind the van and have that as a guest accommodation. If anyone actually wanted to come with me. One thing I'm looking for while I'm at the show today is inspiration for the inside of my own van. And I do rather like these little overhead storage cupboards. I'm going to try to have something like that in mine. And I've been wondering how you best attach a table and it would seem that bolted to the seatbelt pillar could be the way to go. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to have space for the little mini oven and grill. But that would be very good for your beans on toast and cheese on toast and all that, wouldn't it? Another one with a little toilet compartment at the back. It's quite good to get a dedicated toilet compartment in a VW. I presume this is the long wheelbase version and, as you can see, it is the high top. Well, you wouldn't be able to lose that in the car park, would you? Now that could be fun. Interesting layout, you've got the swivel seats at the front. And then two seats here, and I guess you lie all these out to make the beds. And then at the back, you've actually got the kitchen and a washroom area. That's a lot packed into a small space. Quite like this wood, or wood effect, I don't know what it is, but it's quite pleasant. I like the way they've made their sales area out of the camper van parts. That's rather nice. Now this woodwork I like, and apparently it is solid oak, not some veneer. Yes, I like that. Now that's quite a nice idea, a little table that just flips up on the outside, so you can have it as a place for your gin and tonic while you sit next to the van. Yes, I'll shamelessly steal that idea. It's nearly one o'clock, and so along with uh, Dan Trudgeon and Caravan Gossip, where is he? There he is. Yeah. We are heading down to um, Hall 2 for a to gate crash the indie products and Cali camping meet and greet. <laughs> Look who I've bumped into. Who are you? Hello, I am Andrew Ditton. And you're the, wearing my leather pants because I get so much hate on my leather pants that I wear them just to annoy people, really. Yeah, it's too big. I've got the eye boost for you. So eye boost is amazing. Oh, great. Um, Look how good taste these people have. The Van Life tea and the Kelly Cat. <laughs> Well, that was an excellent day. Some interesting camper vans, caravans, tents and all that scene. And some lovely, lovely people met, both viewers of the vlog, the van vlog and the boat vlog, and some other wonderful YouTubers. Too many to mention, but I will drop as many links to the other YouTube channels as I can in the video description below. Thanks, as always, for watching. The next vlog will be the one about me fitting the rear windows onto the van. That's it for now. Cheerio.